guys, welcome back to our channel. We are Megan Defun Tour. I am Tiff, and uh, this is our first installment. I don't know if that's the word, or I wouldn't use episode, but we're starting a new video series. Is that a better word? We're calling it New Music Monthly, so on the last day, or like last week of every month, we are going to talk about the new music that came out that month. Um, we're going to rotate every other month, so next month will be Megan. We we are the kind of people that are able to like articulately like review an album, and we also can't like do reaction videos because our expressions are like they're kind of hard to do so we wanted to do something that talked about new music but we weren't quite sure how to do it and Megan came up with this idea and I thought it was a really good idea so this is the first one and I don't really know how to do it or what but we'll see how it goes I'm basically going to talk about new music that came out this month that I liked my opinion and all that stuff so first I'm just going to talk about albums that I just didn't get around to yet. Um, I know Blink-182's California Deluxe Edition, it's basically a new album, came out what, last week and I just didn't get around to listening to it yet. I don't even, I didn't even listen to any of the songs when they came out when they were releasing them like one at a time so I don't have any opinions on it yet and I'm just, I haven't gone there. Um, Linkin Park's new album came out, I listened to it like five songs on Spotify so far. So far it's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, and I know Troy Sivan came out with a new song the other day. I just have not gotten to listen to it yet. So those will definitely be listening to soon. Um, if you want to know my opinion on them, go to like our Twitter account or something and ask me there and then I'll let you know. But um, so first I'm going to start with um, two artists that came out with songs for albums that are coming out next month and I just want to talk about them really quick because Megan's going to talk about the albums next month and I just want to talk about the songs that came out this month but um first up is Halsey if I keep my eyes closed, he feels just like you. she came out with now or never did that come out in April that may have came out in April, but I'm going to talk about it anyways. She came out with Never Never, Eyes Closed, and Strangers. I haven't gotten to listen to Strangers yet. It features Lauren from Fifth Harmony. Um, now or Never is amazing. I love the music video. It's so, so good. I mean, I didn't expect not to like anything by her, because everything she brings out is really amazing. Um, and I love Eyes Closed. I haven't gotten to listen to the stripped version she released yet, so I'm really excited to listen to that. And... Um, these songs make me really excited for the album that comes out Friday? Yeah, Friday. So, I'm just gonna leave it there and say, um, these songs are really good so far. Um, I think the album's gonna be great. Um, the next artist that I'm gonna talk about that's also releasing an album the same day as Holly is All Time Low. Their last young Renegade album is coming out on Friday. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Um, Megan is probably going to talk about this album in her video. So I don't want to go super in depth with it. But um, so far they've come out with Dirty Laundry, Last Young Renegade, Life of the Party, and Nice to Know You. Dirty Laundry came out a couple months ago. But I'm going to talk about it like in the general gist. I love all of the songs that came out, so I really think this new album is going to be really great. Like I don't have any doubts. My favorite so far is Life of the Party, I think. Um, it sounds kind of similar, like really similar to Against the Current's Wasteland to me. Um, if anybody else thinks that, let me know because I feel like I'm crazy because I feel like it sounds like it sounds like Wasteland. Um, Dirty Laundry was the first one to be released. I liked it. Oh, like, I love the song. I don't think it was a good lead-off single, but the song in general is really good. 
Um, they released music videos with each one of those songs, and I liked every one, every one of the music videos. Um, I think that's just where I'm going to leave it off. And all the songs are great. I'm really excited for the new album, and Megan will talk more about them in the next video. Next, let's talk about the One Direction voice. This curse or what's it waiting for? Must this hurt you? Just Harry Styles' debut album came out um, was it last two weeks ago, and it's the only thing I've been listening to. It's so good. I love it so much. Um, I think it's exactly what I expected him to release. And I just can't stop listening to it. And it kind of made me, like I've always loved Harry. He's always was like my top two in One Direction. So I was really excited for this release and he pleasantly surprised me. It's a very like chill album, but like there's really fun songs. Um, song standouts to me, the entire album. No, but um, standouts. Um, I really like Kiwi. I like Woman, Carolina, Only Angel, Sign of the Times, and Ever Since New York. I think those are my stand. That's a lot of songs for song standouts. But yeah, I think those are my standouts. And then the next One Direction boy. He came out with Slow Hands the week before Harry released his album, I think. Yeah. And it's definitely my favorite out of the two songs he just officially released. I honestly haven't stopped listening to it. I mean, the releasing singles, I kind of forgot about One Direction for a little bit since they stopped being a band. And then they were releasing all these singles at one time and like now I'm just like starting to miss the One Direction. <laughs> it's so upsetting. But Slow Hands is great, and I like this town as well. So I'm excited to see what his album is gonna be like. And then the next One Direction boy that came out with the song. In the way that I used to be, I just wanna have fun and be rowdy. Walk Coke and Bacardi, sipping lightly. When I walk inside the party, is Liam. He came out with Strip That Down. It features somebody that I don't know. I'm actually kind of disappointed with the song. Like, I kind of expected that I knew I wasn't gonna like his stuff because I knew he was going towards the more like R&B type way and I'm not into R&B all that much. I mean I've only listened to the song one time so maybe if I listen to it more I'll like it. I don't know it was just not my style the first time I heard it and I think when I just heard the line I was in 1D now I'm free I just was like kind of sad. But um, I think Ed Sheeran wrote the song. I think, but I'm not sure. Um, if anyone else doesn't like the song, can you like let me know in the comments so I don't feel so bad? Because I just, I just can't get into it. Like I think I should be getting into it, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think Zayn also released a song, but I think it was, it may have been last month. So I don't really like it. So I'm just gonna not talk about it. Now I'm going to talk about the main stuff with Little Lonely. This album came out in April, but my pre-order didn't technically arrive until the very end of April, beginning of May, so I'm going to treat it as a May release and just so I can talk about this album. It's so good. I mean, when will they ever not put out a good album? Like all of their albums are solid and like I love everything standouts for me I really like the sound of rubbery I think and lost in nostalgia is really good and all of them pretty much right off the page Guess I'm safe for another day telling myself stay champs came out with a new album um, it's just a deluxe edition version of around the world and back it came with their DVD and there's only t there's like there's two new songs and then there's some live or acoustic stuff 
and I love the two new songs and I know they're going back into the studio to start recording and I'm really excited. Um, Slow Burn is amazing. I think it's my favorite out of the two. I haven't gotten to listen to Hurry Up and Wait too much, but that's all. it's also really good from what I've gotten to listen to it. And the DVD makes me cry because they've gotten so far and I, I love them. And I think that's really all I'm going to talk about it because it's not really a new album. So it's really just two new songs. Even if it's in my dreams, huh? Selena Gomez came out with a new song called Bad Liar. Um, I first listened to it while I was watching the exclusive video on Spotify and first listen I honestly didn't like it and I don't know why. I just wasn't into it I guess. I mean I've been listening to her music since she was on Wizards and Waverly Place basically and I mean I know that artist change and stuff but this is just really different from Revival I think and I really liked Revival but then I've been listening to it more and I'm really getting into it more so I think I like it now another one of my favorite bands released an album the same they released it the same day as Harry Styles' album so I obviously listened to Harry Styles first but Paramore released a new album called After Laughter. Um, this album is so great. It's like lyrically, there's so many good lyrics on there that are so relatable to me because I'm like the age group that they're basically talking about and it's just really great. Um, Standouts for me, it's still hard times. I still love hard times. Um, Told you so. I love that. Um, Fake Happy, I think, is another one I really, really enjoy. Um, I, I don't really know the song titles of which songs I like because I just listen to it like in my car through CD, so I don't get to see the song titles. But if I listen to the song, I'd be like, that's the one I really like. But those three, I think, are my favorite standouts so far. Paris is finally back and they released a new single. Um, I feel like it may have came out at the end of April. I don't know, April and May just kind of meshed together for me so I'm just going to consider it May. I think it may have been the beginning of May. I think so. So I'm going to consider it May. But they released a song called Heaven. It's off the new album. The album title is so long, I don't even know what it's called. Like, all... I don't know, I'm not even going to attempt it, but I really like the song. Um, it kind of, it's like, it's definitely Paris-esque. Like, it sounds like something they would release, and I don't hate it. So, I don't think I've ever hated anything they released either. So, I like it. Kissing strangers DNC released a new song called Kissing Strangers. It definitely came out in April, but the music video came out in May, so I'm going to consider it a May release. Um, the song is called Kissing Strangers. It features Nicki Minaj. It's typical DNC. It's super fun. It's super catchy. And it's honest, it's so, like, all of their music is ridiculously catchy that you just have to listen to it and you just have to love it. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with DNC. Like, they're just amazing. Lastly, on my new music stuff from this month is Fall Out Boy's Young and Menace. Menace. I'm pretty sure that came out in May too. I think that came out right before Paris came ready to release her song. A lot of people hate this song. A lot of people. I genuinely enjoy it. Like, I don't hate it at all. Like, I'm very good at separating when it comes to Fall Out Boy. I'm very good at separating, like, this album is a different sound, this album is a different sound. I'm good at separating albums, so I know when each new album comes out, like, I know it's going to be a new 
sound, kind of. But I think if the whole album sounds like this, I'm not gonna enjoy it that much. But I think like a one-off song that sounds like this is good. I think I can definitely picture it being performed live. But I did see, an in I watched an interview they did last night. Um, and Pete said that the album is not going to sound like Young Menace, so that reassures me a little bit. Like, I don't hate the song. I love the song. But if the whole album sounds like it, I probably would not enjoy the album. I'm excited for the new record. It's not till September. So, we'll talk about the album when it gets there. But I thoroughly kind of, I like, really enjoy the song. There are a lot of other music that came out this month that I just don't listen to. I don't I don't really want to talk about them if I don't listen to them. So in the comments if there's anything that came out this month that you generally really enjoy, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll check them out. Um, so I guess what was your favorite May? What your what your favorite May release was? Put that in the comments. And then we'll talk about releases and new music. And if you like this, let us know. Because we'll, we're going to try and do them every month. Knowing that if there's new music that came out that month. Yeah, I hope this went okay. I really had no idea what I was doing. I, I don't know if this is even going to be good. But we're going to see. This is going to go... We're, it'll, it'll be rough since it's the first time. If you like watching videos like this, um, music related, vinyl related, concert related, subscribe to our channel over here, please. Um, tell us what you like about our channel, what you don't like about our channel, what we can change, give us suggestions for videos, um, anything in the comments, just, just talk about music. Um, thank you for watching, um, we are Megan to Tour again, all of our social media info, and other info is all in the description vinyl stuff yeah so please subscribe and thank you for watching we will see you next week i'm a realist and an optimist but i swear to you i'm not getting over this